What's an instant clothing turn off for you when looking at the opposite sx? Men. Ill-fitting clothing. Especially suits and guy fiery sunglasses. Fine on guy. Skin colored leggings. The ones that make you do a double take because you think for a second they are naked from the waist down. When girls wear those jeans that are torn and ripped. But it's clear that the pants don't fit. So their thighs go through the holes and look like really bad hot cross buns. ED Hardy and basically anything but jazzled. Those badass shirts. I live in FL so anything sold life. Edit. For those that don't know it's a clothing brand that is a part of the trailer park trash starter pack. You see the logo on eyeing everything they can fit that eyeing thing on. Also. Holy it's spreading. Every time I see that decal on the back of a car. It always looks like it says life at first glance. Edit. Christ. My inbox. I guess it's not just me. Live in the UK. What? Are the early 2000s just hitting the UK or something? I thought those were long gone. Belly hanging out from the bottom of the shirt that isn't long enough. Mostly has to do with fat people like me. Shirts that are yii too tight. Tank top screaming. Lotto. I don't fit you. Anything with a pot leaf on it. Anything other than chain mail. Does heavy ass cologne count as clothing? They basically put it on like a wetsuit layer. Jeans that drag on the ground. Little known fact. J-U-I-C-Y. I don't want any of that juice. Jeans that don't fit a man's ass, I, E, when they're slip sliding down to their knees. No thank you. Can't speak for turn offs. But if you ain't wearing socks and crocs then we ain't in. Sagging pants. You look like a toddler with a full diaper. Wife beaters. Very hard to pull off. Crocs. Just can't. Way too baggy trousers. I don't want to see 3 inches of your boxers, in public. Edit I responded to some but just for the record, I'm not denying crocs serve a practical purpose. They are just very aesthetically unappealing. To any. And also. Don't forget. No one else's opinion but your own really matters. Dudes wearing pants below their butt so their underwear is showing. Sleeveless hoodies. IX had one. He also had extremely hairy armpits. Don't know why he wouldn't just get rid of it. Edit. Get rid of the hoodie. Not the armpits. It was a hideous shade of brownish grayish. Teacher print stuff. Makes me think of 50 Y old trailer park women. Those claw like fake fingernails. Wait that's not clothing. Feather boas. Hulk Hogan pulled off a feather bow away better than any woman ever will and honestly. You're just shooting yourself in the foot by inviting the comparison. Huge plastic nails. Those weird sharp Eden eyebrows that women wear these days. I'm just confused by this trend. Call me old fashioned. But I like my eyebrows made of hair. Too much of jewelry. Those dresses that don't taper at all so it kind of looks like a big windsock. I shouldn't have read this thread. Now I feel ugly with my loose clothing. IT's comfortable. Those tanks with the massive arm holes. Ick. In England. Tanks have a kettle so the crew can make tea without getting out. Not so much clothes. But an orange looking fake tan. Fedora. Those ain't toe shoes. My god they are the ugliest shoes in the world. Shirts. Jackets. Hats. Or anything printed with an anime girl with gigantic boobs hanging out. Or has an ahegeo face. Even when worn ironically. And I say this as someone who actually likes anime. If he's not in thigh highs he's not worth it. Anything in leopard print. A hairy man in a mesh tank top. How's about a meshy man in a hair shirt? Clothes that fit improperly. 
My BF always wears clothes that are too big and it drives me crazy. Also men in bedazzled jeans or tops. Edit. When I say clothes that are too big. I mean excessively. Your clothes shouldn't squeeze you. They should be comfortable. But many people think that being swallowed by their clothes will make them look smaller when in reality it does the opposite. Ed Hardy or tap out shirts. Bedazzled clothing of any kind. Ill fitting suits. Sandals with socks. Shirts with stupid sayings or the ones that have a list of doing whatever macho thing on the back. Fedoras. Clothing that is torn and stained because you're lazy and can't be bothered to buy new stuff. Edit. When I say clothing that is stained or torn I don't mean just chilling around the house. I don't give a what a person wears in their own home. I mean when actually going out with friends or on a date. And for everyone saying clothes are expensive. Yes I agree. Brand new. High end clothing is expensive. I personally buy all my clothes and my kids clothes at consignment shops. Goodwill. Or yard sales Facebook marketplace. I'm able to find really nice. Sometimes name brand clothes with the tags still on. For pennies on the dollar. A scarf longer than both our heights combined. Edit. Okay. I get it. Scarves are awesome. But I live in a tropical country. Just the thought of people wearing scarves makes me sweat. The fourth doctor wants to know your location. Pants hanging below your ass. Boxer shorts. Can't explain it. But they have always looked decidedly unsi to me. Even when I was a kid and saw movies with men changing their clothes and wearing big baloney boxer shorts. I was so relieved the first time my so, now my husband, and I disrobed together and I saw that he wore briefs. I agree on the balloons boxers. But I am a boxer briefs fan. A big no on the bikini briefs style. Actually could not follow through when a guy was wearing those blue briefs with the white outlines on them. Instant turn off. Clothes that are clearly three sizes too small that creates muffin top spillage. Sagging pants. This makes sense nowadays. Not everyone wants to see your underpants. Dummy. Anything at Hardy. Tap out. Hurley. Dude graphic tee. Etc. Save your money. Get a white tee. Write douche on it with a sharpie. High-waisted jeans on women. They look dying awful in the 80s and don't look any better in 2019. But how else am I gonna hold all my fat in? Semicolon. As a woman. I prefer high-waisted jeans compared to the low-cut jeans that showed your butt crack. I used to hate buying jeans for that exact reason. I am grateful high waisted jeans are back. Plus they look better fitted than they did in the 80s. Wife beater tank tops no no. I don't care what sx it is. Those I'm morons who wear their sunglasses on the back of their head. When people wear clothing that severely limits their ability to run away if some type of disaster happens it kinda bugs me. But on the other hand girls look hot in heels and dresses. Hopefully they aren't wearing that when Armageddon happens lol. If your attire limits your range of motion it just seems silly to me. People sacrifice practicality for fashion all the time. Look man. When animals hunt they always catch the slowest animal. If you're wearing jeans so tight you can't run. That's you. That's funny my turn off is people who are so driven by fear and anxiety that they expect the world to fall apart at any moment. When the pants sag at the crotch. Either from hanging off the hips ghetto style or made that way MC Hammer style. If you can't afford pants that fit your ass. Just wear a skirt instead of that my diaper is full look. I have an unexplainable aversion to v-neck t-shirts. I just can't. It's so odd. Edit. So apparently there's an SNL skit about v-necks I didn't know about. It perfectly captures the spirit of my aversion to guys and v-necks. Thanks for the link. Fellow redditor. Armani exchange has left the chat. I'm a gay guy so going to answer this from a same sx perspective. Sweatpants leave me so conflicted. I only wear them in the house. Find them to be very trashy out in public. 
but through often don't leave a lot to the imagination. So I'm like your gear trash. But whoa. Using your boobs as storage. Like putting a cigarette lighter in your cleavage. Just no. Sure. When she stuffs her phone in her boob men think it's hot but when I pull my wallet out between my ball sack now everyone's screaming. Margar anything. Septum rings. Just no. As a gay guy let me help you straight guys out here. Women don't find graphic tees attractive. Especially not ones with s content women will see that as creepy. Because it is. Thanks Daniel. I just ordered a shirt that says pizza on it and has a picture of pizza. Now I'm screwed this weekend. Was going to show it off. Pair of Ugg boots. Those ugly giant white feeler shoes that are popular for some reason right now with women. You all look like a 37 year old single white man whose style is based of the Kmart blue light special. Boots. Like Uggs that go halfway up the shin or to the knee. Uggs. It matters more how it is worn than what is worn. No one looks good in crocs or sandals and socks. However. When guys wear those tight jeans that stop just short of the ankle paired with some bright fashion socks. I feel so attacked. My shark socks don't like you either. They're trying to attract the same SX. Crop top hoodies on men. Especially when worn with low slung jeans so it shows off their snail trail. Just EWW. Even if they have amazing abs it makes my vagina shrivel. Comma snail trail. Treasure trail. You mean? Snail trail something. Different. Everything. Semicolon. I'm gay. I'm a lesbian but when I see masculine butch women it's definitely sagging trousers and baseball cap. Can't stand it. Gut sticking out of the bottom of shirts. Guy or girl. This is not a crop top. This is ill-fitting clothing. The man bun if that could be considered clothing. When women wear a bra that doesn't fit so you can see overspill from everywhere, especially over the cups, through their shirt. Bonus if the shirt is white and doesn't fit. 2. I blame the industry. I've got 7 different bras ranging from 34DD to 42G and they all fit exactly the same way they're just made by different companies. It's hard to find bras that fit. J-U-I-C-Y Capri's Nothing because I'm not a judgmental prick that judges someone based on their outfit. What a self-righteous thing to say. Judging people based on their appearances is very reasonable. Perhaps judge is too strong of a word. More like a preliminary assessment. The world is complex and you need markers to make it simpler. High heels on women. Yeah. I know. Some guys like it. And I know it's supposed to accentuate dad ass. But for me. It always seemed. Fake. Unnatural. Uncomfortable. The stride of woman wearing heels is also. IDK. Just weird. I get the same feeling from obviously fake long nails or too much makeup. If you're wearing a shirt showcasing some extreme view. Such as anti-vax. Gun identity. Etc. But do wear those shirts. It helps when I can easily cut people from the search pool. I'm a straight guy but I secretly judge dudes who wear sandals with jeans. Not a good look my dudes. There's gonna be an angry mob of Asian and Indian fobs coming at you. Crocs. Stinky urine stains on khaki pants. Damn what people have you been seeing around? Just scrolling to see if my high pattern sock shorts combo is turning people off. Unpopular opinion. Rompers. I do not and never will understand this fashion trend of baggy. Shapeless fabric potato sacks. Also crocs. But I think most people are on board with that one. Anything that screams look at me. Full stop. Like super tight sweats with pink written on the ass. In a bright pink belly shirt and eye catching obviously fake hair color. Most of the time. The types wearing those outfits look 20 from the back and 50 plus from the front anyways. 
open shirt showing chest hair. Even worse if there's a gold necklace down there. But what if I also drive a white Mercedes Benz? Them big ugly ass DC shoes. I'm not a big fan of the thong underwear. Obviously if it serves a functional purpose such as when you have a dress on and want to avoid the lines. That's fine. But women in jeans who bend over and have their thong riding three stroke fourths of the way up their back. That's just trashy to me. I don't care who you are. Those pants for women that are a weird hybrid of dress and pants. Where they're really loose and flowy like a dress but still have separate legs. I think they might be called gaucho pants. I just think they're so stupid looking. A woman in high heels. Who cannot walk confidently in high heels? Wearing anything that is obviously only to get to tension. I don't mean like skimpy clothes. I mean like way over stylized things. For example. Those gladiator sandals that lace up halfway up the shin. All fashion is to get attention. Rompers man. Makes their butts and backside look so weird. Rompers are the SX appeal of a mercury sable. Multiple rings on multiple fingers. Especially thumbs. Lol for a second I thought you meant multiple thumbs like. How many thumbs you got? I don't mean to pry. But you wouldn't happen to have six fingers on your right hand? Anything that's poorly fitting. Clothes that are too revealing based on the occasion i.e. job interview or meeting with company board. Mom jeans on hot non moms. So on dads? What about fake nails that make me think how do you wipe your ass? Low neckline on a woman in a business setting. I have big boobs and no matter what I do they're noticeable. I wear a crew neck and they are higher. And look like gigantic melons. But hey no cleavage. I wear a V neck. So they are lower but I have very noticeable cleavage. If I button up a blouse all the way up. The buttons puff out. If I button it part of the way and wear a tank top and bra they're still on display. I honestly just can't win. So trust me. Women are not always trying to gain attention. We just can't always hide our boobs and would rather wear them in the most attractive and fashionable way. I highly disagree with this statement and am quite possibly triggered. If a woman across the conference room has nice titties on display. You accept her gift and say thank you. Supreme. From reading this post I'm finding that basically being poor is a turn off. Bootcut jeans. The burka. Tactical Ranger Seal Special Force Undercover Black Ops Douche. Thick feelers. I thought her comment said chick fil A's for a hot minute and I was so confused. Confederate flag shirts. That's a no from me. Strap ons. Don't know why. I try to be open minded but when a girl walks out of the bathroom to freshen up and I make eye contact with that rubber dong. I'm just not feeling it anymore. Guys who wear shirts that are too tight. It doesn't accentuate your physique nor does it make your muscles look bigger. It just looks like you don't know how to do your laundry properly and you're either clueless or too stubborn to buy new clothes. Well I'll have you know I wear small shirts because I don't know how to do my laundry. Mugger hats. Jeans without back pockets. Disgusting. Those bikini bottoms that go up past a girl's belly button. They just look horrible. But where else am I supposed to hide my pouchy stomach? They hardly sell cute one pieces anymore. Ear gauges plugs. I'm sorry. I know they're a personal aesthetic choice. And I would never tell anyone not to get them. But I just can't get over how they look. Long clackety ass nails. Expensive name brands. I just hate materialism. Camouflage anything. Mugga hat. Question for girls interested in guys. Are you all into this thing now where every guy wears ugly neon dad sneakers with everything? They all look like they're covered in spider webs and alien jizz. No. The way you've worded this question would make anyone say no. 
you should give an honest description with brands and names and lose a bias if you want actual honest answer. Muffin tops. Just buy slightly large pants please. Trying to squeeze in small pants doesn't actually make your ass seem smaller. Wallet chain. It's 2019. Please stop. No one wants your wallet with your expired Best Buy gift cards. Recently saw a dude with a wallet chain at a dead show. Turned out he had about 2000 hits of acid in his wallet that he was selling in 10 strips. Clothes. Women who don't understand the spandex ratio. Edit. Just to clarify. The spandex ratio is the amount of spandex a woman can wear in relation to her weight. It's a highly scientific formula. So I won't bore you with a bunch of numbers. Just think of it this way. Less is less and more is more. For me it's lame tattoos. Women are generally fashionable if not stylish but the amount of women with terrible terrible tattoos is shocking. For some civilians. A military uniform is a turn-on. Ask anyone in the service. They'll all tell you we see the uniform as a turn-off. It's so frumpy. Plus we just associate it with work. Turtleneck sweaters on bald men. Makes them look like an uncircumcised penis. Any article of clothing with the confederate flag on it. Flat brimmed baseball style hats. So trashy to me. Dave Matthews band shirt. Andy. Right. Chris. Here's the plan. I'm just gonna list off happy things until you're cheered up. Pizza. The beach. Rock and roll music. April. And I'll list terrible things to bring you back down. Smallpox. Botched surgery. Snails crawling out of your mouth. Realizing their happy terrible lists are making Chris feel better, Andy. Laughter. April. Snails crawling out of your mouth. Andy. The beach. April. Snails crawling out of your mouth. Andy. Cute cats. April. Snails crawling out of your. Butt. Andy. Dave Matthews Band. April. Dave Matthews Band. Pajama pants out in public in the middle of the day. It just screams I don't work and I'm too lazy to even get dressed. Well in my world it screams it's my day off I'm not here to impress lol. A fat woman in skimpy clothing. She looked like she'd been poured into her clothes but forgot to say when. Thanks for the silver. Though I didn't expect it on this terrible comment. Looking like a can of biscuits exploded.